Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today, we're going to dive into the world of making money online. We're going to talk about print-on-demand dropshipping. First of all, what is print-on-demand dropshipping? In short, it's a business model which allows you to sell products like clothes and accessories with your own designs, without actually having to hold any of those products with you physically, and also without having to ship anything yourself. So how does that work exactly? Well, you create an online store, and then sync with the supplier who will take care of the rest. So every time an order is placed on your website, this will be automatically forwarded to the supplier, who will then print your designs on their blank products, package, and ship them directly to your customer with your store name in the package. From the product price that you set in your online store, a portion goes to pay the supplier, and the rest you get to keep as a profit. We'll be having a look at an example in just a moment. All in all, what this means is that you can develop your own brand and run an online store without having to invest any money in inventory. Each product will only be printed once an order is placed, so for you, this is a completely digital business model, and all you need is a bit of creativity and a strategy to promote your store. And with the help of AI and my tutorials, just about anybody could do this. Now, if this idea sounds exciting, but you're not sure where to start, stick with me, I'm going to break down all the steps you will need to take in order to make this happen. In the description below, you will also find a link to a free resource I've prepared for you, including a marketing guide and a branding guide. I will be talking more about this as we go along, so make sure to stick around for that. Now, if you have no experience selling online, creating designs whatsoever, don't worry, this is a beginner-friendly tutorial. Before we dive into each step, we are going to need a platform where we can create the online store, and we will also need a print-on-demand supplier of products to sync with our store. For the online store setup, we are going to use Shopify. It's an incredible and very easy to use e-commerce platform, and it works very well for both beginners and experts. With Shopify, we are going to design the website and manage the online store. I'm going to leave a link in the description, taking you to the best current deal for getting started with Shopify. It's an offer of only $1 on your first month. So make sure to find that link in the description and create your account. If you already have a Shopify store, great! The next thing we are going to do is link Shopify with Printify. This is the platform we are going to use to supply the blank products, print the designs, and ship the final product directly to the customer. I'm also leaving a link to Printify down in the description, so go on ahead and open that up. This is a very well-known platform for print-on-demand dropshipping, and based on my experience, it is the best option when it comes to product pricing, which is absolutely important if you want this to become profitable. Here, you're going to find tons of different products you can design on. You can sell all kinds of clothing, accessories, home decor items, posters, and even puzzles. They also have a very cool line of beauty products with blank packaging, supplements, and even coffee blends. So you could even start your own coffee brand with Printify if you wanted to, without actually having to make or source any coffee. They have lots of different blends, so all you have to do is create your own designs, and you could start selling all of this as your own brand. It's a world of possibilities. So once you've created your Printify account, you will need to connect it with your Shopify store so that we can sync the products created directly to our Shopify store. You can do that either here inside Printify, or by going into Shopify and installing the Printify app. Once again, if you haven't signed up for Shopify, the best deal for getting started is gonna be linked down in the description. Once the platforms are synced, you'll be able to import products into your Shopify store and the whole process will be automated. So anytime that a customer comes into your store and places an order, this order will be automatically sent to Printify and they will take care of it for you. They will print the design on the blank products and ship it to the customer on your behalf and you don't have to do anything else. All you have to focus on is driving traffic to your store and generating sales. All right, now let's start creating. I'm gonna click on this product as an example and click here to design. Now here we have the template editor. So the next step is to come up with product designs. I recommend you start thinking of what kind of brand you want to create so that your products have a consistent style. When you have a cohesive catalog, you create a much stronger brand experience and a much stronger connection with your audience. So the goal is to create products that go very well together. Just to give you an example, you probably don't want to go to a restaurant and then see that they also have mechanical services to fix cars and they are also selling hair products. That leaves the customer wondering, is any of this really high quality? So to avoid that, we have to create something that's consistent. I do have a free branding guide you can download, which is going to give you some initial ideas. 
Your brand is going to be the foundation of this whole thing, so I highly recommend having a look at those resources. I'll leave it linked in the description. And when it comes to actually creating the product's design, here are two options you can go for. Option one, using AI. And option two, design it yourself. For both of those options, I recommend using Kittle. This is a beginner-friendly design tool and it's super amazing for print-on-demand. Kittle has some very advanced features and it's super easy to navigate. There is a giant library of templates you can choose from and they even have templates specifically for print-on-demand products. You have tons of amazing fonts, ways to manipulate the fonts, graphics, images, advanced controls, and a giant amount of icons to choose from. There's also an AI image generator inside Kittle, so you can just type in a text, choose a style, and the AI will create the visuals for you. You can even click here to turn images into vectors, which makes them infinitely expandable in size, so you can print them in a super large scale without losing any quality. And since your designs will be printed on physical products like t-shirts, you will need to export them in a specific format to maintain the quality. You'll basically need a very high resolution. So when your designs are ready, go here to downloads, and I recommend exporting at at least 400 pixels or 300 PPI. And make sure to export each file with a transparent background. The good news is that I've made a complete video for beginners teaching you exactly how to design inside Kittle. So if this is something you want to do, I'll leave that video linked down below as well. Now there is also another platform that you can use that is built only for generating images with AI. So you can just type in a text and the AI will create the visuals for you. The platform is called Imagine. I'll leave it linked down below as well. So once you have some designs ready, you can head over to Printify, select your product, and upload your design. Here, you can drag it around and play with the sizing until you're happy with the look. And then here, they will give you different mockups with models to have a better idea of how this will look in real life. You can also use these images in your online store. Later on, I'll also show you some tricks to upgrade these images. Once you click on save, you're going to see all of your product listing information before it goes into Shopify. Here, you can edit your product's title, description, and set your own product price for Shopify, which is how much you are going to charge your customers. So if we set the price to this amount of dollars, for example, this is what's left of profits, which is the amount of money that you are actually going to make. You can also customize all of this later inside the Shopify dashboard. So for now, let's just click on publish. And here you'll see all of the products created and their publishing status. So if you go back to your Shopify dashboard and click on products, you'll see the new products that has been imported from Printify. So let's click on it. And here you can edit all of the product information. If you go over here to the product images, you will see something called Shopify magic, which allows you to generate a new photo background with AI. All you have to do is describe the item in the photo and then enter the type of background you would like to create. You can also use one of these presets. And if you want to take this a step further, there are certain platforms that you can use to create product mockups with lots of different models you can choose from. One of these platforms is called Placeit. I'm gonna leave it linked down below as well. And of course, the best option is actually ordering some of these products yourself so you can actually get a feel for the quality and possibly take your own product photos. If you want to do that, you can go back to Printify and place a sample order.
Now for all of the next steps, I'm going to leave a link to a complete step-by-step -step Shopify tutorial to set up your online store. I'll show you how to design the website step-by-step, -step, how to configure all the settings, and how to actually drive traffic to your store to get customers. That video is going to be linked in the description. And once again, if you haven't signed up for Shopify or Printify, you'll find a link to both platforms down in the description. For Shopify, the best current deal is at $1 on your first month. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Before you go, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.